Hello and welcome guys, this is Wade and today I'm going to be showing you guys what Flex and Bison is, Bison or React, any one of those, so what what these are and what you can do with them. So start off with Flex, now Flex is a scanner generator and what it does is basically just scan all the input and check if the, the input is correct or not and if it is correct then send a particular token or uh, just you know send a signal back to the other systems to let them know that the input is correct and this is what the input means so just to give you an example also yeah so this uh, lexical ana analyzer is one of the steps in compiler design like if you're designing a compiler then it's one of the most important steps so okay so just to give you guys an example now let's say uh, I'm pretty sure you guys know what C is like C language is like I'm, I'm just assuming you guys know that so to start off with uh, this is correct because uh, that's not though yeah so this is correct because int uh, you're just declaring you want an int and then the name and the semicolon and that's correct but if you put the semicolon before the name then that's wrong also uh, this is correct you can have a number uh, but it has to be followed by an uh, by, by an alphabet. Then there should be a number, right? And uh, this is wrong because it's there's a number and then there's an alphabet. That's wrong. That's that's so. The lexical analyzer is just it's going to check these and uh, let's just for let's let, let's use this as an example. So this thing is going to produce three token. First is going to be int. Uh, I'm just sorry. I'm uh, int. Yep. The second one's going to be a and uh, third is just gonna be the semicolon just to tell the compiler that this thing has ended uh, that that's it so that is what uh, the lexical analyzer does and that's what we use flex for now just to give you guys like a very simple example of what you can do with this I mean with flex and bison is uh, I'll just clear that up okay so this is a very simple uh, example I've made so if you say hello uh, it's gonna say hello to you too and let's just uh, oh and my bad I, I didn't put a semicolon down there I'm just gonna start it again so it's just like this hello semicolon it's gonna say hello to you too and if I put like something uh, a number so let's say 17 semicolon it's gonna say that's a number and um, if uh, let's just say I put uh, symbol right so symbol can be anything like this so if, if I put something like that it's just gonna say other that's because I've coded it in a way that if you put hello it's gonna say hello to you back and uh, if you say if, if you put any random number it's just gonna say that is a number and anything else is just gonna be classified as other uh, even something like this I mean say G that's gonna be other as well because that's not coded so that's uh, basically what um, this thing does and it's like it's not exactly this it's it's quite complicated and you can use it for like a lot of things but this is uh, like a basic example of it so uh, in the uh, in the next video I'm going to show you how to uh, code this exact thing and um, keep keep watching thank you